Hey, everybody. Thank you all for joining on this hump day, Wednesday. I do this every year. Well, it's only my second year. So this is the second it's every year. Well, inaugural my- report on if, well, let's call it the second annual crypto and developer factor video. And the question is, is there correlation between the amount of developers attracted to a chain and the performance of the token of that chain? And is there a correlation between the amount of developers and the amount of activity, like daily active users, etc.? We are going to analyze that. And a big thank you to the team at Electric Capital that put a lot of the developer data together that I could use to try and deduce some things. Because when it comes to investing, well, 2022 is a crap year for fundamentals, but fundamentals do win out over time. So let's jump in and let's go. Disclaimer doesn't matter for this one. And the story, as I mentioned, to discover the relationship between the number of developers in a blockchain and adoption of that blockchain and performance of the token. Does it matter? I always said, well, a year ago, I said, follow the developers, you know, follow the money. Very important. So let's jump in. And there's some history as well. Uh, This is something that I have witnessed in my life around Silicon Valley. I remember how top developers would kind of front run stock games. They sniff out the good places to work, the good places to earn stock options early. So for example, in 1999, it was Oracle and Microsoft were good places to work. And then early 2000s, it was Google. And then the social revolution happened. Everybody was flocking over to Facebook. And then, you know, 2009 was things like AWS and Square. And now I'm sure it's all blockchain, it's all AI, etc. But that's what these developers do. And I know there's a lot of developers in the audience here as well, but they sniff out where they want to position themselves. And they understand the technology way better than retail investors. Therefore, we need to look at where they go. So the other thing as well, this is from Sam Lesson. And he said, want to know where crypto is going? Well, follow the developers. And this applies not only to Where are the developers going? Which blockchain? Which category? Is it DeFi? Is it NFTs? Is it social? Is it AI? That's also very important. We'll touch on that uh, likely as well today. So first of all, I'm going to blast through this real fast. A lot of material to cover, but I'll distill it down as quickly as I can. So first of all, 2022, despite being a bear market, it had the highest number of developers ever who wrote code in 2022. And new developers saw the highest number of new crypto developers in the history of the world. So for those who think, oh, crypto's dead, bear market killed everything. Nope. Bear markets are for building, as people always say as well. Next in the box, Ethereum cannot be ignored. It is a beast. There was 14... 1,691 new Ethereum developers, the highest level in history, which is stunning. And this is the number of developers by year joined. And you can see, even in 2018, despite the bear back then, people were still joining Ethereum, but that was one of the few. In addition, on the ETH story, ETH is two and a half times larger than the next largest blockchain in terms of the community of developers. That is massive. You can see here, on this chart, you got Ethereum way, way up there, and then down the line, you got Polkadot and Cosmos and Solana and Bitcoin. It is the 800 pound gorilla because there's a lot to be built on Ethereum. Now, let's talk about different ecosystems. This uh, shows you the ecosystems with over 1,000 developers, not as high as Ethereum with nearly 5,000, but those with over 1,000 developers, and there's only four on Earth. And they are Solana, which grew 83%, Polygon, which grew 40%, Cosmos, 25%, and Polkadot, only 2%. But the fastest growing chain is right there in this category. And the big green arrow is pointing at... I'll see if you can figure out what it's pointing at. I don't want to say that word too much, because it's going to come up a lot today. Next is the next category of chains. These are the 300 plus category. I didn't make up these categories. These are from Electric Capital. Um, But these are not. The top tier is ETH, the 800-pound gorilla, Ethereum. Then the second tier are those four players that are 1,000-plus developers I just mentioned, Cosmos, Matic, Solana, and Polkadot. And then the 300-plus team. you got Starknet, ICP, Near Protocol, The Graph, Kusama, 
Bitcoin, Cardano, and Salo. Uh, when you look at the growth rate for some of these, Starknet, 134%. ICP 48%, near 41%, Graph 21%, Kusama 9 and then Bitcoin and Cardano 2%, and Salo flat. But they are kind of the next tier of big developers. But again, flatness is not good. But if you look at Bitcoin, it's big and bulky and grows slow. And that's what you want in a store of value. You don't want them moving things around too fast because then things can break, as we've seen with some other chains too. Let's look at the 16x growers. There's only three of them. These are groups that grew 16x, a factor of 16x, and this only happened with uh, three names. That is Polkadot, Cosmos, and Solana, to, and that rate is up to 400 developers, which is big. But there is another piece of news too. This is the category of the, the communities that have grown to 600 plus developers uh, from launch. And there's only uh, four of those names. It's Solana, Polygon, Near, and Kusama. They have the most total. They have 600 plus that have grown in this green box here highlighted. Again, you can see as well, as I mentioned earlier, the fastest growth in history of developers on any blockchain was Solana so far. But that could be overtaken by an up-and-comer. We have to wait and see. Let's talk about some analogs between 2018 and 2022. 2018 was the bear market of 2018 and 2022. This one I think is kind of interesting because in 2018, during the bear, the top 200 cryptos shrank to only having 25% of developers. The rest of the developers, the other 75% were housed within Bitcoin and Ethereum and other random chains, but that is kind of stunning. But what's very different to 2022 is that 25% didn't shrink. In fact, compared to four years earlier, it's now half of all developers in the top 200. And the rest balance between a lot of the poop coins, as they call them, and then the purple is Ethereum, and Bitcoin is the orange at the bottom. So that's good perspective to have as well. In addition, let's talk about the years since first commit. Again, we did talk about the 600 plus developers, but Solana, again, is the fastest ever in terms of developer growth which we covered next. Also, when we look at DeFi, DeFi is for me probably the biggest use case for all things layer one on blockchains. It's not NFTs. It is the disruption of traditional finance. And here you can see the top three players that have the number of developers dedicated to DeFi applications, DeFi development. Number one, Ethereum. Number two, Cosmos. And number three, Solana, and then down the line, you've got Polkadot, BNB, Kusama, Polygon, Avalanche. Uh, but you'll notice some names that many people find very popular. They're not big into DeFi, and I think that's a mistake for these chains to miss out on this, because this is where, again, the disruption will happen over the next three to five years, I believe. Uh, let's talk about half of all DeFi development is now happening outside of Ethereum. Again, if we go back to four years ago, it was all Ethereum. There is nothing happening outside of the Ethereum chain on the DeFi as a category. Now half is happening at Kusama, Avalanche, Polygon, Polkadot, Solana, Binance, and that is and Cosmos. And that is an important development as well compared to the past. In addition, NFTs bring adoption. Why do we talk about NFTs? Well, this was a cool little slide they had in the huge report they put together, but they said, and the f brings new people into crypto. And the first thing that people do the first time they activate a wallet is they activate the wallet because of an NFT, not because of housing crypto or moving crypto around. It's to house their NFT and that brings adoption. Remember, we're in this game to get a billion people into blockchain. And that's going to happen again in the next three to four years, I reckon. Now, NFT developers as well, just like DeFi developers, you can see they're exploding. Right now, as of December 2022, 929 developers are dedicated to NFT development, which again is a big, big move forward. Now, let's drill into the top chains and analyze a couple of things. This is where I try to bring in my stuff analysis beyond what Electric Capital did. Uh, first of all, this is a log chart. You can see above 5,000 at the bottom is Ethereum. Then number two, you have Solana. Number three, Polkadot. 
number four, Cosmos, five, Polygon, then Bitcoin, then Near, then Kusama, then Binance. And rounding out the top 10 is Cardano. So well done for Cardano to get in there in terms of the total number of developers. And this includes both full-time and part-time developers. Not all chains have all full-time developers. In addition, when we look at a couple of things, I thought it would be interesting to dig into not only the chain number of developer change year to year, but also the token value. And of course, we've just been through a bear market and we know how hammered things got in 2022. But if we wind the clock back to 2021, what happened? So this is, first of all, you got the top 10 ecosystems. I didn't look at the rest because I honestly believe you probably shouldn't if there's not a lot of development activity happening. There's probably not a lot of price action going to happen, and we'll get to that conclusion in a minute. But if you look at the total number of developers as of December 2022, the report was launched yesterday. That was January 17th. You can see Ethereum, again, 800 pound gorilla, Salon number two, etc. But what you see down the line is the second, the third column, you've got the ROI versus 2022, i.e. the returns over the last year. And you can see Ethereum is only down 51%, Solana down 84%. It was down 86 or 96% at one stage, but it recovered a lot. Um, then you've got Polkadot down 77, Cosmos down 69, Polygon 55%, Bitcoin 50%, Near 88.4%, Kusama 86%, Binance down 37%. In fact, Binance has held up best of all of these top 10 and Cardano down 78%. So a pretty um, interesting mix. But if we go back to 2021 and look at the return since that time frame, it's a very different story. You can see the number one gainer on this chart is Polygon, 14,000%. Number two on this chart is Solana with over 10,000% return. And, you know, the further you go up, the further you fall down. And that's kind of what we saw happening as well as well. Some manipulation by Alameda and others. Then third biggest returner was Binance, 1260%. Fourth, Near, 960%. Fifth, uh, Cardano, 646%. Sixth, Ethereum, I think, 407%. And on and on. Also, the next column is the one-year percentage. This is the growth in developers over the last 365 days. Number one on the chart is Solana, 74% growth in the number of developers. Number two would be 29% with Polygon. So again, Solana, Polygon coming out top. So you can see the correlation there between return over the last two years and the development activity. And then over the two-year percentage growth of developers, you can see number one, Solana, 1,000% growth. Number two is near protocol, not Polygon. 492% growth and number three polygon 465% growth again we're just looking at numbers here and trying to find patterns to see if we can explain our conclusions so mapping this out devs explain seven percent of the return on a token since 2021 that's what it looks like on a chart not big but if we go back to 2022 only six percent of the return but what you can see though is there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of correlation that the more developers, the less downside the chains have, which again is another risk factor to take into account. In addition, a visual of how all this looks, you see this is a log chart here. You have the amount of developers on the left-hand side and the return of the token on the right-hand side. Uh, the yellow bars are about the turn versus 2021. And you see the two big ones are Polygon and Solana. And then next up is Avalanche is number three with the returns. And the blue bars, of course, are the total numbers of developers. So again, interesting patterns to look at. So let's jump in and talk about a couple of conclusions. Let's see if there is a relationship between the daily active users and the number of developers. So first of all, these are the daily active users for some of the top chains. You can see uh, as of the 15th of January, Solana number one, 521,000 daily active users. Bitcoin, 504,000. Impressive. Ethereum, just shy of 400,000. Polygon fell down a lot. I don't know why over the past couple of weeks, especially with you know some NFT projects migrating that they paid for it to come over. I don't know why it's fallen so much. Near 71,000, Cardano 65,000, 
Avalanche 33,000 and Cosmos Hub 18,300. Now the question is, does this map to developers? Well, let's have a look. Uh, some of them were complete outliers, didn't really make sense, so I discarded them. But there is actually, uh, the number of developers does explain 11% of the number of daily active users per chain. Not big, but at least it's something. And remember, this is the cool thing. Thank you to AI for creating this little image. Top developers chase max impact. They want to make a difference and also want to dedicate their time to building something special. So to all the developers out there, keep up the great work. So quick conclusion from today's story. Uh, more developers correlated to more return on a token ecosystem. And this works for return since 2021. And also it lessens the downside in most cases in the bear market in 2022. So when you're allocating your portfolio, look to where the developers are. It does help. Second, DeFi dev is growing outside of ETH. That's a very big development over the last uh, year to two years. Third, bear market development is happening unlike 2018. Way more development is happening right now across way more chains, which didn't happen in 2018. And third, there is correlation between the amount of developers on a chain and daily active users. And remember, the simple way to think about all of this is Devs follow the impact, per that little graphic in the last slide. This drives investment, whether from the chain or from VCs investing in projects or dApps. This drives adoption. This drives daily active users. And thus, it all drives token value. So remember, when you're looking at crypto, very important to look at this stuff. So hope you like it. Um, hope you enjoy that show. <laughs> very dev specific. But I think these are very, very important factors to look at. And of course, We'll continue to look at them for you if you don't want to crunch the numbers yourself. So thank you to everybody out there and all the mods in the chat, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye all.